Upon my word, sir, you're ungrateful. Fall back on Yenbo and we will give you equipment, give you arms, advice, training, everything. Guns? A modern rifle for every man. No, guns. Artillery. Guns like the Turkish guns at Medina. Yes, give us guns and keep the training. Your men need training far more than guns, sir. <laughs> The English will teach the Bedou to fight? We will teach them, Sheriff Ali, to fight a modern, mechanized army. In the... Yes, Lieutenant? What do you think about Yembo? I think it is far from Damascus. We'll have you in Damascus, and never fear. Have you been in Damascus, Mr. Lawrence? Yes, my lord. It is beautiful, is it not? That'll do, Lawrence. Dreaming won't get you to Damascus, sir, but discipline will. Look, sir, Great Britain is a small country. It's much smaller than yours. Small population compared with some. It's small, but it's great. And why? Because it has guns. Because it has discipline. Because it has a navy. Because of this, the English go where they please and strike where they please, and this makes them great. Right. Yes. Mr. Lawrence, that'll do. Uh, Lieutenant Lawrence, sir, is not your military advisor. But I would like to hear his opinion. Damn it, Lawrence! Who do you take your orders from? From Lord Faisal, in Faisal's tent. Old fool! Why turn from him to him, their master and man? My lord, I think... I think your book is right. The desert is an ocean in which no oar is dipped. And on this ocean, the Bedou go where they please and strike where they please. This is the way the Bedou has always fought. You're famed throughout the world for fighting in this way, and this is the way you should fight now. Ah, I don't know. I'm sorry, sir, but you're wrong. Fall back on Yenbo, sir, and the Arab rising becomes one poor unit in the British army. What is this to you? Lawrence, do you know you're a traitor? No, no, Colonel. I... He is a young man, and young men are passionate. They must say their say. But wiser people must decide. I know you are right. Very well, sir. When shall we move? The sooner the better. You'll lose another 50 men tonight. You tread heavily. But you speak the truth. I will give you my answer tomorrow, and now uh, it is late. Colonel Brighton means to put my men under European officers, does he not? In effect, my lord, yes. And I must do it, because the Turks have European guns. But I fear to do it. Upon my soul, I do. The English have a great hunger for desolate places. I fear they hunger for Arabia. Then you must deny it to them. You are an Englishman. Are you not loyal to England? To England? and to other things. To England and Arabia, both. And is that possible? I think you are another of these desert-loving English. Dati, Stanhope, a Gordon of Khartoum. No Arab loves the desert. We love water and green trees. There is nothing in the desert. No man needs nothing. Or is it that you think we are something you can play with? Because we are a little people, a silly people, greedy, barbarous, and cruel. What do you know, Lieutenant? In the Arab city of Cordoba were two miles of public lighting in the streets when London was a village. Yes, you were great. Nine centuries ago. Time to be great again, my lord. Which is why my father made this war upon the Turks. My father, Mr. Lawrence, not the English. 
Well, my father is old. And I... I long for the vanished gardens of Cordoba. However, before the gardens must come the fighting. To be great again, it seems that we need the English or... Oh. What no man can provide, Mr. Lawrence, we need a miracle. <laughs>